Nothing. Can I help you? If you want. How come we're just doing nothing? Because there's nothing else to do. Oh. Uh. Hey, where are you guys going? To play ball. Shrimp. Can we play too? No. Why not? Yeah, why not? Because you're too little, that's why. You're just a couple of kids. We are not. You are too. Are not. Let's go get lost, both you shrimps. Who's going to make us? I am. I'll tell my dad on you. Big deal. You better listen or O.J. Wagner instead is a policeman. Some chance. My dad is too a policeman. No kidding. For real? Uh-huh, really for real. Has he got a uniform and a badge and a... Of course he has, dum-dum. I told you he's a real policeman, didn't I? Gee. He's got real handcuffs, too. I've seen him myself. Gee. Listen, Earl. You think maybe sometime we could get to meet your dad? I know Earl J. Wagner's dad real good. He's on the day. Come on, and I'll get him to show you all his policeman stuff. You mean now? Sure. Hot ziggities. Come on, Earl, old buddy. <laughs> I do, too, know R.J. Wagner's dad real good. Almost as good as he does. Hi there, mister. Hi, Ma. What's happening? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, I guess so. Mom, if my dad was alive, and if I asked him, do you think he'd take some kids for a ride in his helicopter? Helicopter. Helicopter. Would he, Mom? I don't know if the Army would let him, but he'd certainly have tried if you'd asked him. Do you have any particular kids in mind? Just some kids. Anyway, would the army mind if you just let them look at it? I mean, real close? I think that would be all right. But since your dad isn't here, we both know that isn't going to happen, don't we, Corey? Uh-huh. But if it could happen, I bet it would be a lot more interesting than some old policeman stuff. Oh. By the way, have you seen Earl today? Earl who? Earl J. Wagadorn, your best friend. I don't have a best friend. You mean the Earl J. Wagadorn that's Richard's best friend. And just who is Richard? A kid down the block. Last seen in the company of Earl J. Wagadorn? Uh-huh. Doing what exactly? I don't know. I guess they went to see Earl J. Wagadorn's dad's policeman stuff. Well, why didn't you go with them? Uh, who wants to see Earl J. Wagadorn's dad's policeman stuff anyway? Oh, Baker. What's an O.M.? An O.M.? Now, don't play innocent with me. I heard what that O.B. said when I came in. O.B.? Old bat. Now, just what does O.M. stand for? For old man, naturally. Old man? Isn't that what sailors usually call the captain of the ship? Oh, yes, it is. You know, Baker, the O.M. gets bored very easily these days, with the result that he has developed an overwhelming curiosity about anything not connected with this clinic. So why don't you just sit down and tell me all about it? About what? Sure. What's his name? Your son. It's probably nothing. 
But I am slightly worried about, um, what's his name? Corey. Oh, you remembered. Well, go on. What about him? It seems that Corey has lost Earl to an older boy named Richard. Older boys are always heroes to younger ones. To girls, too. Well, anyway, when Richard found out that Earl's father is a real live policeman... Oh, I get the picture. Well, that's all just as much a part of growing up as runny noses or skin knees. What's really bothering you? Is Richard white? He is, but I don't see what No, that... no, no, no. Don't be coy. I suppose it's never entered your mind that someday Corey might figure out that color could be the reason why Earl and Richard have left him out. I didn't say it never entered my mind. Then you have thought about it. Let's just say that uh, that's a hang-up that my son can do without. You're absolutely right, nurse. And if you don't mind, I think I can do something to help. Yeah. You know what that is? A bleaching kit? Very. Ha-ha. <laughs> this is my old student microscope. Now, I want to lend this to Corey. That ought to top Earl's dad any day in the week. Well, that's very kind of you, Dr. Chegley, but don't you think a seven-year-old is a bit young for a microscope? Don't sell kids short. Remember, Mozart was writing music at the age of five. Not with a microscope, he wasn't. But really, Doctor, that's very thoughtful of you. Now, take my word for it, Julia. He will love it. What's more, he'll be the only kid on his block that has one. That's exactly what bothers me about it. I want Corey to have friends, but not by bribing them. Oh, bribery, as you call it, is a very necessary ingredient to prime the pump, to grease the wheels, to get a friendship started. After that, it either runs by itself or it doesn't. You read me? I read you all right, Doctor. I'm just not sure that I agree with you. All right, then. Let me put it another way. You have a better idea. Well, let me put it this way, Doctor. No, I haven't. When are you going to show me what's in the box? Just as soon as you finish your dinner. I'm finished. Well, not according to your glass. You haven't. I guess I forgot some stuff. There, now I'm really finished. See? Mm hmm. Look. It's a microscope. Dr. Chegley has had it for many years, and he's lending it to you. Gee, what's a microscope? A microscope is an instrument that doctors use to make little things bigger. Really? Could it make me bigger than Richard? I'm afraid not, son. It only makes things look bigger. Here, I'll show you. Now, you know what this is, don't you? Yeah, it's a real teeny, teeny piece of bread. Right. There. Look in here. Look in here. Mm -hmm. Up here. It sure looks funny. Well, that's because you're seeing it hundreds of times bigger than you could with your own eye. Gee. Don't you think that's interesting? I guess so. And don't you think uh, other children, like Earl or maybe even Richard, might find that interesting? Could I see something else in it? All right. Not right here. Look at it. Mom, you know something? What? You've got awfully fat hair. <laughs> you wanted to see me, Doctor? Baker, did you give that jerk Edson placebos yesterday? Yes, Doctor. And did you tell him to take one every two hours? I did. Now, don't you realize that these new miracle drugs are very potent? Mr. Edson is convinced that he's been overdosed. Doctor, you know those capsules contain no more than milk sugar and couldn't possibly have had any effect on him. I know it, and you know it. But Mr. Edson is in a world of his own. Now, in the future, you will prescribe one capsule for every 12 hours. You got it? Got it, Doctor.
Will there be anything else? No. Unless... Unless you want to tell me how my microscope went over last night. Oh, uh, not too successfully, I'm afraid, Doctor. Corey is just a little too young to comprehend it. No. No, I don't accept that. Just because you struck out trying to explain it, that's no reason to give up. This calls for professional services of the highest kind. You're volunteering? You can't go much higher. Hi, Corey. Hi, O.J. Wagadorn. We're going to play ball. Hey, Richard. Can Corey come play ball with us? Nah, he's just a shrimp kid. I haven't got time to play anyway. I've got to experiment with my microscope. Gee, you got a microscope? Uh-huh. Gee, what's a microscope? What you got, some kind of kid toy? It's not a toy. Dr. Checkler lended it to me, and he used it in a real hospital. OK, let's see it. OK. Okay, gang, let's go see Shrimp Baker's microscope. Oh, hi, Mrs. Baker. Mr. Bennett. Dr. Chegley. Well, how are you, Bennett? Well, since you ask, not so good. You know, I've got this pain. It, it runs up and down, and sometimes sideways. I don't suppose you... It sounds could... like it might be serious, you know. If I were you, I'd see a doctor about it. Have you seen Corey around, Mr. Bennett? Have I? He's got some kids in. I, I don't know what they're up to, but they've been pretty quiet. Thank goodness. You could have been a little more sympathetic, Dr. J. He doesn't want sympathy. He wants free medical advice. Oh, no! My old school microscope. It don't. Corey Baker. Hi, Mom. Just what do you think you're doing? Watching. Just watching. Babe, give me that. Where's the... Hey, you kids, get down from there. You want to fall down? Give me that. Here, and, and, and that. And that. No, you don't, no. Who's he? That's Dr. Chegley. It's his microscope. Oh, it was a microscope, and it, it better be again. Didn't I tell you to be careful with that, mister? Now, didn't I? I didn't do anything. I didn't even get a chance to look, did I? Me neither. Think. Well, I told you not to break it like that. Well, it isn't broken. You came close, but you didn't quite make it. No. See, this is a precision instrument. It must be used properly. Fortunately, I am about to give you a little... Uh, <laughs> I'm about to give you a brief history and demonstration of the proper use of a microscope. So, all of you boys, sit down and pay attention. But I gotta... I said sit down. Now, this instrument is the most valuable single tool in all of medical history. Why, as far back as 1675, Antony van Leeuwenhoek made a primitive microscope. It was a major breakthrough in medical science. Now, put simply, all a microscope really is, is a light-gathering device consisting of a series of concave and convex lenses assembled in a sequence yeah. designed to vastly you know enlarge the image of is talking the object about? placed in uh -uh. Now, in Me order neither. to accomplish this, we first place the object to be viewed on a glass slide, like this. Now, now take another look in there and tell me what you see, hmm? Some kind of little worm, I guess. Exactly. Now, that little worm, as you call it, is the cause of many, Excuse many... Excuse me, Dr. Chegley, but it is getting late. I think the boys had better be getting home. Oh, and I was, I was just getting started to... Oh, well, I guess it can wait till another time. All right, goodbye, boys. Night, night. Good night. Good night. Night. Night, Corey. Night, Dr. Chickley. Night. You go wash up. Dinner will be ready very soon. Boy, it's about time. I think I could use a drink right about now. Mmm. Sherry? 
We sure ain't. <laughs> How'd I do? I'm not quite sure how to put it. I am. I bombed. Bombed? Bombed. Or as we used to say it in the Navy, I... Yes? Oh, never mind. I just remembered we never said it in mixed company. <laughs> I guess I'm just not up on my talking to tots technique. Believe me, Dr. Chegley, in my book, you get points for trying. Thanks. Well, so the microscope didn't work. We'll just have to think of something else. More bribery. What else? Would you mind if I took Corey out Saturday afternoon? That all depends on what you have in mind. Well, it's nothing frightening. A friend of mine owns a boat. I think I can talk him into taking three passengers sailing. Three? Yeah, it's just a little plot I cooked up. Is it all right with you? If I say no, I'll never find out what you're up to. Good, then it's all settled. Now watch a devious old man go to work. Corey, tell me. Are you going to be busy this Saturday afternoon? You're my mom? No, you're not, Corey. I'm not busy, Dr. Chickley. Good. Then would you like to go sailing with me? On a real boat? With real sails in the ocean and everything? Right. Oh, boy. Can I, Mom? Can I? Yes, you may, sailor. Gee. There's only one other thing, Corey. You see, there happens to be a little extra space aboard this boat. So if you'd like, you can invite a friend to come along with you. One friend. Earl J. Wagadorn. Not Richard? Earl J. Wagadorn. Well, why not Richard? Because he's not my friend. He's not anybody's friend. He only likes things. <laughs> well, I'm relieved to note that there are some things that Corey can see even without the help of a microscope. the weekend? Two days long, like it always is. Hmm. What's with her? You mustn't mind Hannah, Eddie. It's just the doctor is in a mood this morning and... Baker, I... Ah, oh, Edson. I was just leaving. No, I... no, no, don't leave on my account. As a matter of fact, I'd like to talk to you, Edson. Won't you step into my office? Me? You. that was all about. You know what that is? A microphone? A microscope, you... <laughs> this instrument is the most valuable single tool in the whole history of medicine. Why, as far back as oh, 1670... What's the catch, Doc? I mean, why are you telling me this? Well, there's no catch. I just want to see if a simple mind can understand a simple explanation of this instrument. Now, as far back as... Listen, 16... Doc, I, I, Se I don't know what the angle is, but I got to get going. Stay where you are. As far back as 1675, Antony van Leeuwenhoek made a primitive microscope, a major breakthrough in medical science. Now, with this discovery, any object placed in front of... Edson! Bye. 